What's up, YouTube? Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is March 3rd. We are about a month away from opening day of trout season here in Pennsylvania, so I hope everybody is excited for that. Today, we're gonna go fish a non-regulated, non-stocked trout stream for some wild brown trout. Hopefully, we're gonna have some luck today. Hopefully, we're gonna catch some fish. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you do, scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know why or why you did not like this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel, you should probably do that right now. Now, used to be a fishing here. You know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. After about 30 minutes of driving, we made it down to the little creek we're going to be fishing today. As you guys can see, most of the snow has already melted. We've had a warming trend this week. Aside from yesterday, it has been very warm all week, and today it's supposed to be going up to 54. Hence the reason I'm able to be out here with just the flannel. This creek looks pretty good. Some of it might be shallow here. I am towards the headwaters, but we're gonna explore around today. There's a lot of water to cover. Let's get down to the water here. Hopefully we can do that without busting our head open. I'm not really too sure if many people come up this far to fish this creek. So hopefully we're gonna come across some fish that haven't seen any lures this year. There are big fish in this creek, very far and few in between. There are a lot of trout but most of them don't grow to be more than 10 inches. So hopefully we can catch one about nine or 10 inches today. That'd be a really good fish for this creek. When I'm fishing for any species of fish, one place I always like to check out are bridges. They are permanent forms of structure. They provide good cover year round. Obviously they don't move. Usually the water under bridges is a little deeper. You guys probably can't see this, but this water is only about two inches. Audio is probably crap under here, but we're gonna catch some fish. I don't know if you guys can see this, probably not at all. There's some stalactites up there, or are they stalagmites? I don't know, comment down below. I forget what they're called, stalactites or stalagmites. I think stalactites hang from the ceiling and stalagmites come up from the ground, whatever. I'll tell you one thing, it is certainly cold under this bridge. Seems like this entire bridge is just super shallow. I don't think there'd be any trout under here. And if there are, with all my walking around, I'm definitely spooking them. Definitely a little different than I expected. I think downstream's a little bit better. We're gonna keep heading upstream as far as we can. See what's going on up this way. Finally out from underneath that giant bridge. Holy smokes. I don't think I was ever gonna get out from underneath there. Going further and further upstream, kind of taking this little deer path. Pretty much the only trail through all this brush but I'm not really seeing any trout. I'm seeing a whole bunch of little minnows on the other side. This is a good sign, but no trout. Let's keep moving. I'm on my knees for these fish. Oh, there's a little trout. There's a couple little brownies out there. Just spooked them. Let's hit up a couple more holes upstream. Then we're probably gonna head downstream. Fishing's just a lot better down there, but I always like to fish everything there is to fish. check out two more holes two more holes and then we're heading back oh nothing from this hole we got one more hole to hit before we turn around head downstream downstream portion of this creek is a lot better so stick with this one guys if we don't catch anything here doesn't mean we're not going to catch anything today huh i can't believe it nothing upstream at all we're going to head downstream it's time to catch some fish guys stay tuned Alrighty, we are downstream from where we parked up. This looks like the first good hole, so I'm gonna hit this, see if I can catch anything here. We're gonna keep hitting holes until we find some fish. Whew. I've traveled about three miles so far today. No bites, no fish. Gotta stay positive though. We know they're here, just gotta find them. Oh, that was a bite. Alrighty, well, we got a bite from this hole which lets me know we are on the right path. Nothing will probably come back. Look at the size of this hole though. There's gotta be some pigs down there. It's a nice deep pool. You guys ready for trout number one of the day? Here it comes. Beautiful cast. We're about to catch one. Oh, that was a big one. We can come back to these holes on the way back. These are some good spots though. Definitely some fish stacked up in these holes. They probably just don't want to bite it going upstream. Alrighty, we got another bridge. Let's see if there's anything hanging out. Doesn't look like anything's under this bridge. Super deep hole too. Definitely gonna have to go up on the road to cross this one. We might come back to this spot with a trout magnet. That hole is really deep. There's gotta be some pigs under there. 
they probably just don't want to bite the spinner. Keep trucking downstream. You got to catch the first fish of the day. This spot looks pretty good. It's probably a fish hanging out here. Are we going to be able to get them to bite? That's the question. You can assume that there's probably at least one trout in every one of these deeper pockets. Oh, that was a bite. Dang it. We might have to switch up presentations. I don't think the spinner's doing the trick today. There's a lot of fish I'm seeing now that I'm downstream from where I started. They just aren't committing to the spinner. There we go. It's a nice brown. And that's a real nice brown for this creek. First fish of the day if we can land them. Oh, please stay on, man. That is a nice brownie. Wet our hands. Dang, that is one of the bigger browns I've ever caught from this creek. There we go. Might have taken a little while, but first one of the day on that rooster tail. Finally got one to commit. Quite a few bites up until this point. Always want to make sure you take care of these fish. Catch and release only regulations. Got to make sure these fish are nice and healthy when you put them back in the water. There it goes. Thanks for biting dudes. See you next time. First one in the bag. Finally got one on the spinner. Probably going to fish with the spinner a little bit longer. See if we can pick up a couple more fish. But I think we're probably going to throw on a trout magnet and hit some of the juicier holes on the way back. I saw some nice fish. Some that were probably a little bit bigger than the one I just caught. Which is a very nice trout for this creek. But I don't think the spinner is the best lure to be using today. So last time we were here we weren't able to go all the way under because the water was too high. It was actually pretty sketchy. Didn't want to get soaking wet. But now that the water's down, it is crystal clear. You can see everything out there. I think it's time for us to cross. Now, if anyone ever does travel this creek this far, that is probably where most people turn around. Now, these are my good waders, but unfortunately, I guess there's a little hole in there somewhere. So my left leg is just getting soaking wet right now. Kind of sucks. Anyway, this portion of the creek probably isn't fished too often. So hopefully, there's some fish hanging around. Some piggies out there. I've marked so many fish on my way back here. So many that I've missed that just wouldn't bite definitely going to come back to some of these spots with the trout magnet on the way back I'm not trying to waste too much time going downstream there's a lot of open woods there's absolutely nothing back here well everybody we've walked downstream about two and a half to three miles now might be time we turn around soon going to hit up a few more deep holes probably about four or five and then I'm gonna head back with the trout magnet and hopefully smoke some fish. Looks like the spinner probably wasn't the answer today. I was able to get some bites on it and catch one fish, but the fish just aren't really biting moving baits too well this time of year. They're still warming up. This was literally the first warm week in about a month. Entire month of February, Pennsylvania was covered with snow. So these fish are just starting to wake up. They're just starting to bite more actively. As we move into spring, the trout bites should get better and better. So I feel like the magnet might just be a little bit more effective. We can fish a little slower, stay in the strike zone longer. Plus this spinner is really boisterous. Any inline spinner just sends off a ton of vibration in the water. Most of the time you're only getting bit from reaction. We're gonna catch some more fish. Don't you guys worry. Hopefully we come across some deeper holes soon. It looks like the creek is shallowing out a little bit here. Well, everybody, I guess this is gonna be the intermission. We are at about 50% of our GoPro charge, so we're gonna head back upstream and hit some of the juicier holes. We are gonna switch off our little rooster tail spinner and throw on a trout magnet. I think the rooster tail spinner is a great bait for searching and you know finding out where the fish are, but it's always good to have a backup and come up and clean up some of the fish that you might have missed or some of the fish that just didn't wanna bite what you were throwing the first time. So I'm just taking a little break now. I'm gonna have myself some water, get my mind back in the game, and we are gonna catch some more fish on the trout magnet. Stay tuned. Alrighty, I got a little size six Aberdeen hook on if you can see it there. Bust out a trout magnet. The one I'm gonna be using is a little bubblegum colored one. I'm just gonna hook my trout magnet in about a centimeter, push it all the way up to the top of the hook like that. I'm gonna measure where it goes through 
As you guys can see, the point of the hook goes through right about there. So we're gonna bend our magnet and we're gonna go right up through the center, hopefully. We got our trout magnet on there and we're gonna use a very tiny little split shot. Put that about a foot away from our trout magnet, secure it on there with some pliers, don't use your teeth. Good to go, that's our rig. I'm gonna pack up my stuff here. We're gonna head back upstream. Well, now starts the fun portion of today's adventure for me. I've walked about a mile and a half downstream since the last good hold. So now I gotta go all the way back upstream. One thing I have to say I don't really care for when I'm heading back to the Jeep is, you know, the adventure is pretty much over for me. I've already seen everything. I'm not gonna see anything new. I might catch a couple fish here and there, but that's not really what these adventures are for. I love the outdoors. I love coming out here, exploring, finding and sharing the dopest fishing spots with you guys, even though most of the time I don't really disclose the location. Anyway, with that being said, one thing I have to say that I do like is the fact that now I know where all the good holes are. I know where all the fish are hiding out. I know where I missed them and I can come back and I have a second chance at catching those fish. So hopefully we're about to make it happen with this new presentation. I have a feeling the trout magnet is gonna do pretty well once we come across some more fish. Look at that. There's someone else fishing up there. I can't believe it. I thought I was the only one that came back here. I can assume he's probably messing up all the good holes. go second one of the day this guy came right out and grabbed that magnet oh looks like switching up was a good idea these guys are sitting right there i didn't think any of them were gonna bite man look at the colors on this dude that is a pretty brown look at that little guy carefully reverse the hook comes right out fish is good to go there he goes Went right under that rock over there. Oh man, lost him. Oh, we had him. There we go. What the heck? Oh, well, that's definitely not what we came here for. I'll take him. It's a creek job. Oh, slimy little guy. But there we go, second species of the day. Not too excited about that one, obviously. But there are also some creek chubs hanging out here. This might be our last shot, guys. Last hole we're gonna hit before we head on home.